Hello everybody, I'm going to read you a story called Billy's Beetle by Mick Inkpen. I wonder if you've been looking for bugs. Did you find any ladybirds or caterpillars? Billy found a beetle and we're going to find out what happened. Billy had a beetle in a matchbox. Or rather, he hadn't. He had lost it. Silly Billy. Have you seen my beetle? He asked the girl. But she hadn't. Can you see that beetle? It's under Billy's arm. Along came a man with a sniffy dog. Don't you worry, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog will soon find your beetle. Off went the sniffy dog. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Did you spot that beetle? Soon the sniffy dog had found a hedgehog, two spiders, some worms and a bone. But not the beetle. I will help find Billy's beetle, said the hedgehog. And so the search continued. Suddenly the sniffy dog stopped digging and took off like a rocket. Look at him go, said the man. He can smell Billy's beetle. But the sniffy dog had not smelled Billy's beetle. He had smelled sausages. Leave, sniffy dog, leave, said the man. So the sniffy dog grabbed the sausages and left. Now there was Billy, the girl, the hedgehog, the sniffy dog, the man with the sniffy dog and the woman without the sausages, all looking for Billy's beetle and a polar bear who had joined in for fun. The sniffy dog found a tuba. It belonged to a man in an umpa band. I don't think Billy's beetle is in there, said the bandsman, but we will help you look. So the umpa band played and off they went again. Um pa, um pa, sniff, sniff, sniff. Um pa, um pa, sniff, sniff, sniff. An elephant wandered over to see what all the fuss was about. Stand aside, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog is looking for this boy's beetle. The elephant became very excited. I've seen it, he said. The elephant jumped up and down and pointed with his trunk. Is that the beetle? He trumpeted triumphantly. No, said Billy. That is not my beetle. That is a furry caterpillar. Instantly, the elephant was untriumphant and untrumpetable. He sat down. The girl sighed a long, long sigh and sat down too. Where can it be, she said. The man with the sniffy dog, the sniffy dog, the lady without the sausages, the polar bear and the umpa band sat down next to them. But the hedgehog was hopping from one foot to the other and pointing. The beetle! It's the beetle, he squeaked. We found the beetle! We found the beetle! Hooray! 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 They shouted. Can you join in? Hooray! 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 Actually, it was me who found it. Where is Billy? said the girl. Everybody stopped shouting. They looked up, they looked down, they looked behind, in front and in between. But Billy had disappeared.
disappeared. Don't you worry, said the man with the sniffy dog. My sniffy dog has found something. But the sniffy dog had not found Billy. He had found a little pig. Excuse me, said the little pig. I have lost my furry caterpillar. Have you seen him? So the girl, the sniffy dog, the man with the sniffy dog, the hedgehog, the woman without the sausages, the polar bear, the umpa band, the elephant, the little pig and the beetle all went off together to look for Billy and the furry caterpillar. And once again, it was the hedgehog who found them and the sniffy dog who didn't. Our story is finished. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.